Okay, I'm assuming everybody's here is going to be here. Uh, getting, uh, it's becoming too common to congratulate the opponent first, but I'll do that. I'm asking our guys to be uh, men of integrity, and uh, I'm going to try to do the same at this point. Um, Duke did a very good job. They uh, deserve the right to go celebrate, and I'm sure they're doing a good job of that right now. Um, don't have a lot of really good answers right this minute, and uh, certainly uh, I'm sure you all have a bunch of questions. Um, it's just uh, heartbreaking to uh, not be able to get the victory. Put a lot into it and uh, didn't get it done. So with that, you guys can ask your questions. Mark, what's, what are you seeing in practice that's just not carrying over to game day in terms of just the ability to move forward? Yeah. Well, I mean, we did move the ball some, and we had some big plays. We didn't move it on a consistent basis, um, for sure. I mean, ran the ball for over a couple hundred yards, I think, in the first half. but. In the, in the downpour, um, you know, it it was a different field condition. Obviously, um, it wasn't it wasn't ideal conditions to drop back and throw the football. But you know, they did they did it pretty well, and we had our moments. But uh, um, you know, I, I just think it's a matter of. I can't. I can't give you the answer. I can't give you a good answer right now on that because I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think, you know, what happened in practice that may have caused things not to go well. Other than, you know, we just didn't. Uh, we didn't do a good enough job. Period. Mark, the old adage is if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have one. Yeah. Take anything away from from either of those kids. Right. Is that kind of how it feels? Trying to just try to find one that's going to get hot or. Um, maybe so. I mean, obviously, you'd love to have a one quarterback who's playing his tail off, and there's no, there's no question who the guy is. You know, um, I mean, I could sit here and try to say who's gonna, who it's going to be, uh, but um, you know, sometimes you say something now that you may not want to say uh, after all the films viewed and all that kind of thing, but. Um, I think it would be in our best interest if one guy, you know, steps up and 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 balls out, you know, plays great ball. And um, you know, we're still trying to find that answer right now. Mark, any thoughts to playing Jared Williams? Do you think that's something that could happen here down the stretch? Uh, I don't know about that. I didn't even thought about that. You know, obviously the Richard rule will allow him to play a little bit. Um, so I'm not saying that couldn't happen by any means. I think anything's possible at this point. Yeah, he got he worked he got work with the ones. Yes. Well, the starter got more than the backup. Yeah. Just talk about the, 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 I guess, the two-minute drill at the end. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were working our way down there. Um, looked like we had a touchdown, and they called offensive pass interference. I, I really couldn't see to say for sure. Obviously, a judgment call. It would have been pretty nice to have had that play count. Of course, still would have had to go for two. We had a play that we had ready to go that we thought would give us a chance, uh, the best chance. and. Uh, you know, with no timeouts at that point, we'd have had it, you know, racked and ready to go, which we did. Um, but, uh, you know, and even, you know, the very last play, we had a shot, but that's, you know, that's why they call it a Hail Mary. It's, it's a prayer, prayer ball, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the one that looked like we had that would have, you know, could have given us a shot at tying the game and winning the game. So, you know, we did move the ball down the field. We did, we did put ourselves in position to score. And uh, unfortunately, we got the we got the call against us. Do a couple more guys. Are you worried that they might lose? 
Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I think our guys certainly know some of the goals that we had to set out for in the beginning are not really possible. Uh, um, you know, I'm not even going to start trying to do any kind of math in the coastal and all that kind of thing. I think right now we're playing for pride. You know, we're playing for, um, you know, just to show that, you know, when things don't go well, we don't, we don't sack our bats. We don't quit. And uh, that'll be what we'll be, you know, focusing on. Everybody uh, still, you know, being a responsible man and, and doing the very best he can for the team in practice and in games and uh, we have to do we have to do the same thing as a staff so that's that's how I look at it. Mark is like the biggest challenge now almost like keeping everybody together. Uh, I don't know if that'll be a huge challenge because I think we, we are a pretty united team although you know the more diversity that hits the harder it is to keep everybody together but um, I think these guys you know enjoy each other. I think they like each other. I think they care about each other. I think they're frustrated at, you know, the results. But, um, you know, I, I think everybody, it's going to be hard, you know, to keep our spirits up on a day like tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll get back to work. And usually when you work, it starts to, it, it's just therapeutic, really, to get back to work, to start game planning the next team. And like I told those guys, you know, Georgia Tech's not going to care that we hadn't won any of the last three games, and you know they're going to come after us, and we got to be ready to come after them too. So, I mean, it's it's a battle. Every week's a battle, and you got to prepare for it. And if you don't, uh, uh, you know, it it could get it could get ugly. But um, right now, I I have full faith and confidence that everybody's going to bust their tails and do their best, and 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 uh, you know try to do the best he can for his teammate. Things are going great. Everybody's happy, and that's contagious. And yeah. Going great. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough for everybody. It's tough for me. It's tough for uh, everybody who loves this program. It's tough for all you know. And then it's it's double, probably doubly tough for the for the guys, for the players, the guys that are 18 to 22 years old, and you know dealing with it's football adversity you know but it's it's adversity we pour our lives into this thing and it's not easy and uh, it's it's hard to keep uh coming back and digging deep but but that's what we're going to do and uh we're uh, I'm thankful for these players uh, and the and the staff and and uh, all the fans that were here cheering for us we appreciate them too so with that y'all have a good night yep